Hi everyone, this is a two-part video of removal and replacement of A11 CPU from an iPhone 10. Uh, initially, uh, you need to remove the, uh, the black glue around the CPU. Uh, I use two types of blades. Uh, one is with a flat end and the other one is with a sharp end. The sharp end is to cut through uh, uh, the glue initially and then use the flat one to remove it completely. I've speeded up the video just to not to get too boring. Uh, and then when we apply the heat we use the biggest nozzle uh, uh, and use one of these prying tools to flip go under the CPU and flip it. It should be uh, an easy job if you if you get the right tools and the right temperature it depends on your device, your hot air and the nozzle you're using. I published already part two of this video which is more interesting than the removal the replacement is more interesting of course as you can see I have to go around now and cut through the, the glue with a sharp blade or a sharp tool The reason we do this so that when you flip the CPU, you don't remove the components that are stuck to it. Uh, it's very critical. You don't want to do do that because if you if you flip it and you remove the components with it, it takes a lot of time to put them back. Especially with an A11 on an iPhone 10, you got all these uh, small components. One double zero five size. Here I'm applying the heat now with a wide nozzle. Unfortunately, uh, you're not seeing the prying tool because what actually I see and through the microscope is not what the camera is seeing. Here goes. Clean left. None of the pads were removed. Uh, you can see the glue still on the logic board. There's a special technique to remove all of the glue without damaging the pads. Same the same thing goes with the CPU. Uh, you need to remove the black glue before you reboil it. That's it.